Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the bi weekly contest 97 maximize win from two segments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So, this one, I think there, um, there are two ways of doing it. Um, I actually, I don't think, I mean, I, I've I think that it is not necessary, or the way that I did it is a little bit over the top and not necessary. But I wasn't, or it's not that I think the proof is easy, but um, but it's just about um, I don't know. I think I was worried about implementation off by one, so the way that I did it is a little bit um, you know, like I, I trade a little bit of time in terms of implementation, um, for maybe correctness. Uh, maybe you could think about it that way. I don't know if that's quite the right way of saying it because um, I think there are other ways of doing it anyway. So yeah, or like I, I think the ways that I did it, um, we'll talk about it in a second. But the, basically the idea here is that, well, first of all, um, maximizing win from two segments, uh, where is this? Oh, yeah, it's sort of in non-decreasing order. And honestly, not that big of a deal, depending on how they phrase the problem, because you could have sorted it, right? You sort it, it is not decreasing. But yeah, but basically, they're, they're, you're trying to get two segments in which you're trying to maximize, right? Um, for me, I book it down. Uh, this, I think I was also a little bit, I wouldn't say confused, but just a little bit um, conscious or like self-conscious and, and and not not a worried worry, but just like, mindful yeah maybe that's a better word mindful of the the intersection piece um but really you never um yeah for this problem you actually never need them to be intersecting right um because at worst let's say you have one to, uh i mean this example even here let's say you have one to going to three and two going to four well instead of going two to the four you could just do three to five right and three to five will be no matter where the numbers are will be strictly better right so that's basically the idea um like i think this is maybe if especially if you um like if you ha haven't had a lot of or maybe just like a, a few <laughs> experiences you may like get a little bit um thrown off by it um but but yeah and and that's basically the idea and for me i was worried about off by one so i actually did this problem twice in a way in that I did it with two segments and then the second part is I did it with one segment where it is k times two I think not, um, thinking about it is strictly not necessary but that's the way I did it um, so this is the part where um, yeah I mean because because this is uh, the price is already sorted we just do a bi binary search to get the index of the second place and then with minus i to get the, the number of counts in those numbers and then yeah, I mean, this is, if you're familiar with binary search, then it just gets the index to the right of uh, the number, and then uh, we get the, we have the current index, and then we just count the number of things, and then this is the best way. And this, like we said, this is the current x plus k times 2. So this is assuming that x, which is the i-th index price, is the beginning of the segment. So then now we're searching from x to x plus k times 2, or 2k. And then the second way that I did it is by having two, two separate segments. And um, in the way that I kind of did it, 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 it does resemble with dynamic programming. Uh, and you may even call it dynamic programming is fine. But that wasn't the way that I thought about this problem per se. Um, the way that I think about it is that, okay, um, they really, you know, we basically, given a certain point, we separate it to the left and to the right, right? Um, we want uh, mentally the way that I was visualizing is that we have a left segment and a right segment, and then just basically get the best right segment and the best left segment, and then kind of doing a um, a sweep going through in that way. Um, the implementation is a little bit uh, straight from that because I was I don't know I think I end up spending a lot of time on this problem for that reason. But yeah, but basically this this thing is the same as before that you saw with, with binary search because this is. Um, this is sorted, or yeah, sorted in non-decreasing order. Um, you just go from the current x to x plus k, Oops. and that will give you uh, the number of elements, right? That uh, that starts at the current i. So another way of saying it is that uh, right right sub i is equal to the the number of elements that. Um, 
is covered starting at uh, let's say price of i i know it's price position but i'm too lazy to type it out right so basically it's starting from this and it goes there right and then now we store all those cases um here the idea here is just make basically maybe this part is the dp ish part where you you get um almost like the suffix some kind of thing right where basically um now we, we transform this, maybe I could have, you could have used another um, variable array, but now way sub i is transferred to the, 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 the most number of elements that is covered uh, to the right of, to right inclusive uh, at, at price i, right? That means that it's just, you know, you're maxing over everything to the right, so it's like a suffix max type thing. Um, and then here, um, we just run it again, basically. Basically, now we go to the index. Uh, so this gives us the the position of the uh, the index of the next the price that we can go query on, and then we just query on that because this this is basically this component, right? Everything to the right, and this is you know. So basically, you in another way to think about it is that you're making two hops, right? So basically index, um, this first binary search will let you jump like one segment and then writes up index will give you oh, oops, one more segment that is everything to the right of it, not just starting from that index, but everything to the right of that index. So basically now this combines two indexes and and then we just calculate the best. So, you know, basically trying everything basically in a in a, in a straightforward kind of way. Um, okay, so there are a couple of things as well. Um, the way that I did this with binary search, it is n log n, right? Because there's all of n, there's binary, ooh, what the, uh, you know, there's a log n, um, there's a log n call every time for binary search, um, same here and same here, right? So we'll do it three times, but, but you can actually do this in the near time. I mean, I'm doing it in contest. I, I'm, I'm not going to work. Uh, you know, during a contest, I'm not worrying about n log n versus uh, o of n, but um, do try to, uh, if you did get this, especially with binary search, do try to uh, upsolve it at home with uh, a linear time solution. I'll give you five seconds to pause, <laughs> and then I'll go over the linear solution. Four, three, two, one. Uh, but yeah, but if you just want to know the linear solution, the idea is um, two pointers or two fingers algorithm, right? Basically, um, you you can start at, um, yeah, you can start at, you know, because because the the um, the input is sorted, right? So basically, you start two pointers, and then of course, if you move the left by x spaces or some some number of spaces the right is going to move by also some number of spaces depending on um depend on k and k times two and the inputs right so basically you kind of move the two pointers um the entire time and this this is going to give you a linear time algorithm and you could do it for this thing even though you don't even need it uh, you could do it for this thing for also same idea except for now the range is just slightly smaller and then this thing you can even pre-cache uh the first time and and then you know so yeah um so yeah so optimally <laughs> you can solve this in linear time linear space and that's pretty much it that's all i have for this one uh let me know what you think and you could watch me solve it live during the contest now Boop, there we um, look a bunch for some lost time but it's a very dubious contest Non descending order, okay. Integer k, two segments with integer, length of each one will be k. For example, k, you can do one and three and two and four. They may intersect. Hmm. How do I think about it? Let me just try. Mm. <coughs> 
see. The intersecting one is interesting. I mean, I think I was just trying to be too clever. Oops, that was a good idea. by one that didn't fit. It's not. It's not all of it. I I know that's not all of it. I'm just saw whether that works. Okay, and then I have to do the other one there. Um, Something like this. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it should be plus one. Why is that wrong? Oh, I see. Whoops. Oh, what the? Whoops. Hmm. Huh. That's also very really wrong, actually. What am I doing? Okay. 
true is. Ah, I've got that thing. I should have gotten this one when I was like, I was doing it in a silly way. I don't want this to be previous of my mind. Okay, fine. I don't know if this is right. Maybe off by one. Okay, good. <sighs> wow. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, these problems, and how you're dealing with it. Um, yeah, that's all I have. So stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.